Here is another one of our two car garage framing videos with a loft. And in this one, we are going to take a look at a couple of shed dormers. I do have another video on how to build the rest of the garage. You can go check that out on our playlist. And if you're having a difficult time figuring out exactly what video that is, let me know. Then I will put a link to that video in the comment area. So let's go ahead and remove the sheathing so that we can look at the modifications we're going to need to do to the roof framing. And since both of these dormers will be built exactly the same, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at this one where we have a couple of larger rafters on each side and then a beam here that will be supporting these rafters and these rafters here. And we are going to shape the top of that beam. And the lower rafters here will be connecting to the wall framing studs. Not going to be providing us with a lot of support for the overhang, but these beams should. And you can always drop the ceiling in here to create a stronger roof if you need to. And I didn't put any specific size for the window. You can make these wider or smaller by simply moving the beams over and adding a few framing components in here. Maybe some more rafters here. And for those of you who are not familiar with my channel, I am not providing you with structural lumber sizes. Just kind of showing you how you could build something like this. And don't forget that something like this can be used to show your contractor, building designer, architect, or engineer. And we're going to have hangers supporting the beam and the rafters. And of course, a view from the inside here, giving an idea what this looks like. And hopefully I'll be able to provide you with enough angles here where you can get a pretty good idea on how something like this can be built. And next up, let's go ahead and add the roof sheathing. And then you could either install the rafters or the walls. You can do either one, rafters or walls first. And the rafters might be easier. You can install the rafters and then get all of your measurements for the wall framing. And I think that's what I would do. Next up, let's go ahead and zoom in on the wall framing here where we can see the header going across. going to be supported by a 4x4. I don't think you're going to need a 4x4 here, but I drew one in anyway. And then the wall will be framed on top of the roof sheathing. Another view of the wall there. Let's go ahead and add our rafters. And in this example, I will be providing you with two different ways that you can finish each side. One with a piece of ceiling backing here and no rafter because we're going to use the top of the wall to support the roof sheathing. And eventually I will make another video showing you how to do a couple of different dormers along with providing you with different methods that you'll be able to build the walls, maybe finish the front, the front wall, how it's going to connect to the other wall here, and how you could set the rafters on top of the wall framing if that's going to work better for you. Next up, let's go ahead and add our 1x4. This is going to be used to bring the fascia board out a little bit and for the metal for the roofing and our Z-bar. And you can always install the flashing on this side first and then the fascia board instead of trying to work it around the fascia board. And again, that's just another suggestion. If it works, great. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. And we have also shaped the roof rafters so that we can use a 2x6 fascia instead of a larger 2x12 fascia, which I think we have on the rest of the building. And don't forget to leave a gap here. There's a good chance you're going to be sliding some metal underneath this fascia board, as I mentioned earlier. And if you don't leave the gap, of course, your roofer will probably hack that area up or cut it a little farther than you might want to have it cut. A view from the top here. Let's go ahead and install our roof sheathing. And you can see here where I had to kind of shape the roof sheathing here to fit with the different cuts that I have here. And hopefully this made sense, or at least some sense to some of you. And if it didn't, do you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comment area, and I will try to answer them as soon as possible.